<laughs> it's crazy, it literally counter for counter. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> it's like their little wall of celebrities. And that Aretha Franklin there. And the, the comedian dude, K and Peel. Coney uh, belt, baby. You see the belt. What's up guys? Welcome back, Triple B. We in the D, baby. We in Detroit. And we here to do the battle, the battle of the Coney Dogs. Just for you. Yes, guys, we are back. We are doing two of the Coney Dog spots here that are very popular. Hi. Hey, how's it going? But before we get our order, because we about to place our order, I need y'all to do something for me. What's that? Give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment below, baby. And don't forget to share it out. Share it out. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Now we're going to get our order. We're going to pray when we get our food. All right. Um, <laughs> I think we're going to do two conies, chili cheese fry. I'll take a Pepsi. And I'll take a Pepsi, too. Yeah, guys, so we are at American Coney Island. Um, and then the next spot is actually right next door, guys. It's called Lafayette Coney Island. And uh, we're about to get into it. We're about to see who's better. They got a championship belt on the wall already. So, you know, they might already have it be the champs. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is that what you said? No, I said belt on the wall, champion belt for the Coney Dog. But yeah, uh, this spot closes a little earlier than the next spot. The last lobby I say is midnight. This will close in a couple of hours. So, um, yeah, we're about to get into it. We'll be right back with the food. Huh? Sure. I'm here at American Coney. I'm with my guy, G. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? He say, don't even worry about going next door. You want to come here first. Yep. Cause it's the only stop you need to make. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> he say he's shy, but he's doing all right, guys. Triple B squad, let him know in the comments that you know G is the man. I'm working all day, man. We <laughs> even serve you with gloves, you know. You yeah. walk in, our store smells good, our bathroom is clean. You know what the funny thing is? She said that this was exactly what she said when we came in. She's like, man, this smells really good in here. Yeah, yeah he's saying they wear gloves over here. They don't wear them over there. So we're gonna go over there and make sure we tell them to put them gloves on. Yeah, tell me how they smell when you first walk in. All right. Yeah. All right, that's what we're gonna do. All right, guys, let's get that done here. All right, get you a fork. Got yeah, me a fork. All right, guys. Heavenly Father, thank you for this meal. We're about to see. Please keep our faith strong. Bless our friends, family, loved ones. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. This you knew it. You knew it. You knew it. But I knew it. That's what I got you for, baby. Ooh, look at that. I'm over here talking and missing all that good cheese. <laughs> you still got a cheese pool? I'm still getting it. I'm still coming, baby. <laughs> Come on, guys, I'm gonna taste the fried by itself. I mean, the fried by itself kind of remind me of a McDonald's french fry. Mm. Yes. These are the french fries by itself was good. It's just some basic chili, like as far as like, it's not actually spicy or nothing like that. It's not bad. So I definitely can see it's definitely got that cheese pool. Oh, napkin, please. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna tell you our rating until we try the other spot. We're just gonna tell you which one is better. But I'll break it down. All right, guys, we just interrupting this video real quick to let y'all know y'all got to make it to the end so y'all can see our final answer to who was the best. 
All right, back to the video. I just like the. Uh, they're very cheesy. Cheesy and nice. They got a nice little crisp on these fries still. Mm -hmm. It ain't limp and soggy. They got some hot sauce. That's not nice. Mm -hmm. Wait time wasn't long. Maybe about four minutes or so. Mm. Not bad. Does it does it remind you of any kind of chili? Um, no. Like there's, there's definitely not no Cincinnati chili. <laughs> mm -mm. Hmm. It's in a these fries. Got about we got cold. Hold up, y'all. Let me get y'all one since we ain't sharing with y'all. Here y'all go. Get that. Right. Not bad. Not bad at all, guys. I'm gonna say it's. I'm gonna say it's good. I'm not gonna tell you how good yet. The bread seems soft. Oh yeah. But it's got a nice to a little toast to it. It feels like it. Mm-hmm. Enough yeah. dogs. Oh yeah. Let's go for it. A dog, dog got a nice snap. That's what I'm about to say. Got a nice snap on the dog. Mm -hmm. The mustard's good. I mean, I guess mustard is mustard, but no, it's not. It's the right amount of but. <laughs> mustard. Is different mustards. Well, yeah. I mean, but it's got a. Um, it's like right amount of mustard on there. Right amount of onions on here. Yeah, it's just mustard, onions, and chili. No cheese. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm really liking the dog itself, though. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I was like, I ain't gonna eat all these dogs. So I'm gonna go get another one. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, these were four dollars. Mm-hmm. The so. fries were like five, maybe. Oh, he just wants to get inside. He was filming too. <laughs> gonna be like, forget it. You know. <laughs> I'm gonna take my last bite. <laughs> Everybody trying to get in, but I gotta go to the other door, buddy. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's a nice combination with the yeah, just the mustard, the, dog and the chili, and the mustard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys. So far, I'm happy. I'm no complaints this way. It also says that you can take home a Coney kit. A Coney kit? Mm hmm. Wow. That may be eating all these fries, guys. They're good. I like that they're still crisp. Mm -hmm. They're under this whole pile of chili. Mm hmm. That's what I said. It reminds me of a good crispy McDonald's fry. It's a little thicker than McDonald's fry, though. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. No. It tastes fresher. It yeah, definitely tastes fresh. It doesn't have that. Uh, it don't have that chemical that bleach. Crack cocaine sprinkle. On it. <laughs> yeah, it don't have that, that <laughs> chemical induced flavor that um, they have. All right, y'all. We're going to finish up what we eating here. And we're going to go to the next spot. We'll see y'all in a second. All right, guys. We're going into the second spot Lafayette Coney. we ready to get out this cold. So let's go on in here and check it out. Hey, how's it going? Who mind if I do my YouTube video, do you? <laughs> Trying to see who's better between you two guys. <laughs> you the best. You on there? Sure. What makes you the best? You're the best. Yeah, they got the dogs lined up back there. Me a little shot of your dog. Okay. All right, guys. I see their wall here. What they got on there? <laughs> hey, George Lopez. I guess he's been to both. Cute.
All right, guys, we are at the next spot. This is Lafayette Coney Island. We got the same exact thing. We got two Coney dogs. I can already tell the hot dogs are definitely different hot dogs. Uh, but they both come with the same thing as far as mustard and onions and a decent amount of their coney sauce on there. And like I said, chili cheese fries. We're going to see if they're just as cheesy. They're hot. Mm -hmm. This came out very quick, too. Yeah, we. Like we sat literally. down and he took our order and he was right back. Right back. So, let's see. We still got the cheese, man. We still got some cheese. Definitely two different styles of chili, from what I'm understanding. I can kind of already know which one of my favorite with just the first bite. Well, let me try a fry. Now, mm -hmm. I'm going to say the first fry I said there might have been more of a hand cut fry. Yeah, I'm going to say those were. And these are definitely cut. a frozen fry. Mm. Let me get a real cheesy a chili bite for you guys. They're hot, guys. Yeah, it's piper hot. Hmm. <laughs> I'm scared to say it. I don't want to disagree with you. I thought we waited to the end. Yeah, no, that's what I'm thinking oh, okay. to myself. Like, hmm. hmm. But I definitely know how to do chili cheese fries here in Detroit. Oh yeah. Or corn fries. That is sure. Because um, the fry is very crispy. With yeah, all very the stuff crispy. On top. Yeah. And I definitely put this amount of cheese on there. Where it's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they kind of perfected that. Very right, great for the. Let me get another bite of these fries. Just like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want to say, guys, that um, these hot dogs look a little bit bigger. And we don't know if they're going to have that snap on it, but we're about to find out. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. All right, you guys, you ready? Same thing, you can tell that the bun was toasted or slightly steamed, maybe. Yeah, feels a little different. Yeah, definitely seems a little bit more mushy. Ready for that good bun? All right, let's take the first bite. Hmm. Same thing, mustard and onion. About the same about powering on the onions and the mustard. Nice, nice snap on the dog. Mm-hmm. Let me set the snap. Mm -hmm. They're so hot. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That's a tough decision. I'm going to tell you this, so far, without giving away anything, they're both good. They're both good. I don't think I ever had a, a chili dog that hot before. <laughs> I think it's made. Mm -hmm. It's pretty hot. Mm -hmm. temperature. Yeah. Now, you were saying earlier that one of them had a little bit spicier spice. I can't really say one of them is either no spicier than the other. Yeah, the they said one was supposed to have a more spicy, a little bit spicier taste to it. Man, this is a tough one, guys. This is really a tough one here. I might have to let Miss Shan be the, the final judge on this. What y'all think? Guys, baby. That's pretty. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty close. It's close. But mm -hmm. I think I have a favorite. Mm -hmm. Now, both restaurants offer table-side service. For a hot dog place, it's kind of For a hot dog place, you get table-side service. A place like this back at home, you wait in line, you order, you go sit down, you come back and order. But right here, both of these restaurants are full service. 
Yeah. I'm ready to tell them though. There's some, oh, you want to No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, okay. I was just gonna say there was some, um, look like some real Detroiters just came in and sat in front of us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely did get some real Detroiters that popped in on us. Mm -hmm. Which we probably still could. So, so these are those uh, Detroiters, the real Detroiters we were talking about. <laughs> See them? So their opinion is, you know, they, they they say it's better spots in the hood. Yeah, it is. Out. It is. It's some of, some of y'all uh, in the in the Triple B squad already told me that I need to go to the hood. Here. Yep. Not yep, the birds, yep. which I didn't say don't go downtown. But you come here though. You come yeah. here just to get the taste. But well, we had to do it because they got a bribery going on, so we wanted to see who was better, and then we're and gonna see who's the best. You? Right. We ain't got an honest opinion yet. I'm waiting on her, but I'm gonna what? probably go what she said. What? Oh, y'all ain't gave a chance. <laughs> nah. I think we do that at the end as a closing. Outside, but she was like, go look at the ice skating rink by the uh, Christmas tree. Hmm. <laughs> it's a tough one. Well. But the other guy was like, just tell us how, what's the difference in the smell, remember? Mm -hmm. He's like, tell me, what do you smell? <laughs> what do you, if you got better nose than me, did it smell as fresh as the other smell? I, I didn't smell that. That was almost a comforting smell I smelled over mm. there. Well, but bet between the two establishments, it's um, the, 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 between the ambience. Like, um, there's a little bit more open space over there. And, um, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm just going to say, it seems a little, it was the overall appearance of the other spot one. was the original it was the first. So it's like an older, like they, they kept this class and it's yeah. like they, they done that one up a little bit over I there. Mean, it was like somebody yeah. used to work here, went and started his own. <laughs> oh, next door. Yeah. I'm going to go next door though. You want to give me that raise? I think they were you brothers. Mm. So we're going to do some research on that a little bit more. I um, just saw this place on there. But, but a lot of the celebrities that are on the wall. Guy versus food. Man versus food. But a lot of celebrities that's on the wall seem to go to both. So, um, you probably did the same thing we did to test out which one is better. <laughs> but, uh, I definitely love the snap that the dogs have, though. That's kind of cool. I'm going to let you finish yours and then I'm going to go from there. And this place is open later. Mm -hmm. He's coming down with one. Yeah, our snap of that dog is really good. Both of them get good snaps. Both of them do. Both of them do. Um, they're both about the same size. Mm -hmm. Not too much difference on that. Mm -hmm. I would say, though, it seems like when I was at this point at the other place, I still had hot dogs. Yeah. And I don't have any hot dogs. Yeah. I mean, I took mine all the way down to the last bite over there because it had a hot dog at the end. Okay. Ooh, put this in my mouth. Mm, that's what she said. But the main thing is both of them, both of them have good hospital. They both greet you when you come in the door. Um, they weren't shying away from the camera. <laughs> they definitely weren't shy. They say, who's better? <laughs> Regardless, regardless of what we say is better, you need to visit both of them yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you that now. You need to visit both spots yourself mm -hmm. to get your, your take on what you think. All right, guys, y'all that made it to the end, thank you so much, Triple B Squad, for making it this far. If you made it this far in the video, put, I made it in the comments below. Pretty simple. All right, so pretty much, we man, we ended up having so much fun that night. We ended up going to having drinks. If you didn't see that, go watch the live. And we forgot to film the end of the video while we were in Detroit. So here we are at home. We got homemade coney dogs with some fries to go along with them. Kind of the same thing we ate there. And we're going to tell you which ones we like better. All right, we can eat. Heavenly Father. Uh oh. Yes. I forgot we got to pray again, guys. Heavenly Father, thank you for this meal we're about to receive. Please keep our faith strong and bless our friends, family, and loved ones. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, we got to pray over each meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Even though this is... 
homemade deliciousness by Big Belly Bob. We shall see what it do. So we got some nice. I got some cheese, just like the restaurant. I got a little cheese pool. Yeah. Got a nice cheese pool there. Steaming like the place was too. Mm-hmm. My fries are a bit more crispy though. Y'all mind if we snack a little bit. A little bit more. I don't need no fork. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. We had so much fun while we were in Detroit. We'll definitely be going back. These are Vienna beef. Hot dogs, they are the jumbos though, so they're pretty big. Just got mustard, the coney sauce, and straight onions on top. Pretty How would you rate like mine? <laughs> I say pretty much like the restaurant. It's Big Belly Bob style though. Yeah, with the big dog. Big oh, yeah. dog. Mm -hmm. So. But it's soft. You diced up your onions nicely. Mm-hmm. I didn't toast the buns. You put the, uh, well, aren't their buns usually steamed or something? Maybe, mm -hmm. but they seemed a little toasted when we was at. Some of them. One of them seemed toasted. Well, I guess you'll save that for your critique. Which one did you think was toasted and which one wasn't? I thought the um, American was toasted. Mm -hmm. I want to start out by saying both restaurants was great. Both of them had good food. Mm -hmm. French fries. Okay, we start with French fries. Start with French fries. Okay, we start with the rating for French fries. Mm -hmm. As far as the fries at Lafayette, they were good. They came out hot. Till they came out hot, had cheese in them. I was gonna say that those I'ma rate. That's a nice description. What? That's getting my hot had cheese in them. I'm not done yet. Oh, okay. Man, I just Sorry. said I'm about to tell you what I'm gonna do. Okay. So on a scale of one to five, I'm gonna give them a, a three. Only because to me they still taste like frozen fries. They didn't taste like, you know, fresh cut fries or anything like that. They still had nice crisp that that. Cheese sauce is cool. I'm gonna give them a three. Me personally, I like the American fries better. Mm. They were fresher, hot. I almost thought they were some McDonald's type of fries. That's how good that was. Uh -huh. um, the sauce was nice and hot. Definitely was a lot more cheesier. So, as far as fries go, I'm gonna give them a five over at American. So, I'm going with their fries and chili combination as my winner for that. Oh. What about you? That's exactly the same. That's how you're going to describe it. <laughs> you did a very good job. No, you said I was doing a bad job, mm. y'all. I haven't heard the rest of your fabulous critique yet. Mm. So, no, I totally agree. That's cool that you didn't do the um, fries. Mm. You can go first on the hot dog. On the coney dog. Mm -hmm. Since you said you like the American fries best. Okay. I would say definitely my favorite was the American hot dog, Coney dog. The Coney dog? I felt like as far as the chili went, there really wasn't a difference in taste to me too much. Okay. To where I can notice one had a different taste than the other. Hmm. Maybe the next time I eat another one, so I can test the texture of them to see. But okay. It was pretty. Um, what made that that head stand out though, the American? I just liked 
how the dog just seemed like it had just a, a nice, more just well together snap. Mm -hmm. And then um, the fries, like you said, seemed like they were hand cut, so they kind of went with the whole hot dog experience and stuff too with the fries and the mm -hmm. hot dog. Because that's not all that we're going to judge on that one. We're also going to judge on just the overall appearance and ambience of the, the spot. I'm going to go ahead. I like the American spot. They were a little bit more greeting. I'm not saying they didn't greet and speak to us but when we walked in the door at the other spot. They just seemed a little bit more greeting. Friendlier. Friendlier. <laughs> greeting. <laughs> at American. Um, like I said, it, then just as the whole appearance when we walk in, the two difference, like you said, in our video, one has like an older style feel. One of them has more of a little up to date. Um, but just when we walked into American, we both got that impression of like, the smell, the cleanliness, the whole vibe just caught our attention. Not saying the other one wasn't clean. Not saying that. But the smell, I did notice that when I first walked into the American, it just kind of hit me. It's like, ooh, they're making some good food in here. Right. Man, it smells pretty good. And I like the fact that you did have a nice seating area. It's like if your family wanted to come. The other one seemed like a lunch spot. You know, like if you're at work or downtown or something, you want a quick bite or to Or a late night lunch. spot real quick. Yeah, or a late night. You can go in there and they had tables you could sit at, but it was just more, just seemed more quick service. More quick service. Like, instantly, when we sat down, it was like food was right there. Mm-hmm. Not saying that's bad at uh, Lafayette. No. But that's why I kind of think their dogs might have sat out a little bit longer because they had a whole bunch of them already just made. So I don't know if, what that really meant, but I just like the other vibe a little bit better. Um, they were just a little bit more uh, smiling and friendly here. Yeah, but they were younger too, I guess you could probably say too. Yeah. Well, the other guys were kind of young too, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it was just, I don't know, I just like the vibe over there a little bit better. Yeah, the vibe. But um, as far as the dog went, I disliked it overall better. And I can't really just, it's not anything that just initially just stood out overall. You know, I can't be like, yeah, it was clearly the winner because mm -hmm. of this and that. Cause it That's why we gotta rate the whole total experience. Yeah. Um, that's why we gave American a little bit of the top winner on that one. That's because the overall experience was great. Mm -hmm. One thing I noticed about Detroit, though, there was a lot of Coney Island places. Everything was a, a hot a Coney Island. Yeah, something. some Coney, Big Doug's Coney Island, Little Earl's Coney Island, Willy Wonka's Curly, Curly, Coney Island, whatever it was. I'm just it was saying. Like Big Bob's Pool Hall. I mean, they might have had Coney Island. And Coney Island. <laughs> like, we went to go get the. Um, the Lou's Deli, and we passed like four Coney Islands on one street within like a couple of miles, you know. So, definitely, we didn't get into the heart of the, the city. We did from downtown. So, we'll definitely try some more Coney Dogs when we go back. But right now, Americans, where it was at. Yeah. And oddly enough, it was it seemed like there was more people at Lafayette. Because mm -hmm. when we first pulled out, we kind of was like, oh, maybe that might be the winner right there. Uh -huh. There's more people sitting inside there. But teach his own. You might like the other place better. You might not it like It just seemed like one. that because it was more open at the other spot versus everybody was kind of all in the middle mm -hmm. at the one. Yeah, I guess that was cool, like lunch vibe. You know, you just want your quick dog and yeah. you can get in and out. In and out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, the other one was just more kind of like, you can still get in and out because they had a section where you could sit down at the the front counter and stuff. But mm -hmm. they also had, and maybe that's because they had like a corner lot. Like they had more space than the other place did. So, mm -hmm. but they utilized it well. Yeah. They did well. Overall, both of them were, like I said, full service restaurant. So you can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. One, just like I said, to me, same nicer. Or more friendlier, but the whole they, experience. The whole experience. But like I said, they're both for full service. They greet you when you come in. They offer you something to drink, and the food comes right out right away. And they were nice. Like the other guys were joking. At the oh yeah, we left places. a tip for both, so, yeah, I, so I have no complaints with either service. Go check it out for yourself, so you can see which one you think. Let us know if you can tell a difference, or like we said, you might not like either one. So. You never know. You might not like either one. Let us know if you've been there before as well. Hey, but you know we're not gonna hold y'all up too much longer. We came just to do this. We had to have little extra dolls on there for you guys to see. These are pretty good too. I kind of liked your little mix of the chili sauce and your ground beef. Ah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Winner, 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 y'all. <laughs> Can't go wrong. 
You see that dog? Let me turn that for you. There you go. All right, guys, we're about to get up out of here in a second. Let me drink some water real quick. Oh, man. But before we do, I'm going to need you to do something for me. What's that? Give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment below me. Okay. And don't, don't forget to share, share it out. out. Share, share it out. out. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Yeah, I don't know why I've been trying to change that up. Oh, yeah, right. Are we going to Jamaica sometime? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'm trying to hint that we're going there soon. We got a special trip for Christmas. Please. Yeah, baby. But look, guys, we woke up today. We are blessed. We have another chance to go out there and give it our best. Go out and help someone become a better person and be the blessing that the world needs. And if you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love somebody else? Because it starts with... You. You, man, and you, baby. You know? All of you, baby. Moms. Hey, hey, hey. Nothing but love for Detroit. Detroit. Is that De what you say? Detroit. Detroit. I'm Big Belly Bob. I'm Michelle. Peace. Give those members a shout out. Triple B Squad. What up, Big Dog Plate? How you doing, Real Girl Food World? Hey, 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 Rose Eating in Conversation. How's it going, Andy Jones? Hey, me and Mrs. Jones. Yo, Annabelle, TV. I see you, Vicky's World. There you go, the essence of Sonya. Whoa, bless Row Cooks. My boo-boo, Miss Shed Shorty Recipes. Look at that, the Embrys. Hey, hey, Angela Eats TV, Picky Palette. I see you, Mr. Quint. Yay, there's Sweet Ree. Uh-oh, Base Chick Creates. Hey, Yaya's Best Life. What are you doing, Sandra Clark, a.k.a. Boo Bears? I see you, Lady R. Foodie. How's it doing? Who you with, Jane? Hey, Latoya Williams. How's it going? I love to eat. Lottie Boss, I see you. What's up, the Cut Up Girl? Hey, CC Cozy Kitchen, Mari Too Funny. I see you, bro. Triple B Squad.